Hello and welcome to Narrowboat video blog number four. Now, there's lots of stuff going on with the boat at the moment, all kinds of fixes and maintenance work and things that are planned and things that are in progress, but to be honest, nothing tangible really that I can actually show you in this particular blog. So I thought what I'd do in this one instead is give you a tour of the boat, because if you've not been on a narrowboat before, then it could be quite interesting. And if you are a narrowboat fan, then if you're like me, it's always very interesting poking around other people's boats and having a nose. So let's do the tour. We shall start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. And that means going up to what we, in nautical terms, like to call the front. Just like every other canal boat I've ever seen, this one starts with a gas locker at the bow. Here filled with two 13 kilogram canisters of propane, which is used for cooking. Above that is a shiny brass horn to let people round blind bends know that you're coming. And above that, there's a light for the tunnels, which are often long and dark. On the roof, you store a pole for pushing off when you get stuck in the mud, and a plank for getting off the boat when you can't quite moor in close enough to step straight onto the bank. Again, like many others, the front of the boat has a fabric hood called a cratch cover. It opens at the sides using zips, and part is then rolled up and fastened at the top using a couple of simple button catches to hold it up. Inside is the well deck, where you can sit on a sunny day to enjoy a gin and tonic. There are steps, come seats, come lockers on both sides. Inside the starboard locker here, for example, is lots of miscellaneous stuff, like tins of paint, brushes and so on. Finally, in the well deck is a hose reel, so you can fill up the onboard water tank every time you pass a tap. You come into the boat through a pair of wood and steel doors, steel for security and wood for aesthetics. And as you can see, they've got bolts on the top and bottom as well, again, for security. And then you step down into the saloon with the infamous garden furniture. I think the idea the previous owners must have had was to make this saloon feel a bit like a conservatory, hence they put conservatory furniture in. But actually, these seats are surprisingly comfortable. Conveniently, there's also storage hidden in the step down from the well deck. And as you can see, they're fire lighters bit of kindling, all the stuff for the stove. From the other side then, this is what the saloon looks like. You've got a couple of chairs, you've got those doors at the front, little unit at the front which has a radio in it and there's also a TV can go on there and you've got bookshelves over to the left, over to the right, fire extinguisher and central heating. Yes, narrow boats don't all have to be all old hat, they do have mod cons as well, that's diesel fired central heating. Having said that, in the best traditions of narrowboats, there is also a multi-fuel stove that will either burn coal or wood, whatever you want, and it's in the best position in the boat as well, in the middle rather than at the doors, which some have, because that means the heat can both come this way into the saloon, but also, of course, flow that way down the rest of the boat. The ones that have the stove by the door, a lot of the heat, of course, goes straight out the doors, and that's vented by a flue pipe that goes up into the ceiling, nice and traditional. Now lighting at the moment is with halogen down lighters and also these halogen lights along the top which are going to be replaced with LED, where's the other one gone, there it is, as soon as I can because when you're on a limited battery supply the last thing you want is halogen lights eating all your power and the boat certainly has plenty of them, not that I'd switch them all on at once of course but switch them to LED, the power consumption drops dramatically and your battery life is extended. Moving on then from the saloon and we come to the galley or the kitchen. As you can see, there's a sink with drainer, 12 volt fridge. Again, that's to do with conserving battery life. And then you've got storage underneath for pots and pans, dishes, cleaning bits and bobs. More storage on this side along with the cutlery drawer. And as you can see, a hob and cooker and grill. There's the hob, four rings, all run by the gas bottles in the front of the boat. And a bit of workspace. Just have to put your tea and coffee in. A little bit of shelving as well. Another radiator here from the central heating system and we move into the dinette. Which is looking a bit of a mess at the moment because I'm in the middle of opening boxes and things. And the horrible dinette um, 
upholstery, which I haven't yet had that quote to get re-upholstered, but they are working on it, I'm assured. Beautiful little side hatch here, opens out to the side, so you can be eating your dinner at the dinette and have all the geese and swans and ducks peering over that lip in at you while you're on the canal, and then there's a little set of steps to get out that way if you wish. Moving on down the boat, there are a couple of storage cupboards here. Nothing in them at the moment, but they will. Um, actually, I lie. This one at the bottom has got things in it. There's a cordless drill, and that's a vacuum cleaner which the previous owners kindly left me. Next stop down from that on the right is the shower bathroom with a cassette toilet and a little sink there again with storage under, another little radiator and it's a bit cramped in the bathroom but there's a shower unit here the sealant around the edges of the shower here all needs replacing it's all a bit old and it's falling apart but that's an easy job just need to scrape the old stuff out and replace it and the water um, as it disappears down the plug hole is actually drained out by a special pump which is hidden under the floor of that cupboard next as we go towards the back you come into the bedroom one more radiator storage incidentally under the bed lots of drawers which you can put things in the bed as you can see has handles because you can actually pull this out and extend it by a further six inches but that does it eat into your corridor space so i'll probably leave it as it is which is i think a four foot wide they call it a double but it's a, a compact double or a decent single above the bed you've got a couple of small cupboards and underneath some reading lights and then at that end a wardrobe little dressing unit and a mirror i'm considering having another telly at the end there so i can just sit in bed and be a slob Cupboard space isn't bad, actually. You've not only got this sort of wardrobe, but they've put some shelves down the sides here as well, so plenty of space for socks and pants and all that kind of stuff. Finally, you step out to the back of the boat, and this is the engine room. Now, the engine is actually underneath that board. It does all come apart. The boards simply lift up, and you can get to the engine for servicing, all that kind of stuff, fairly easily. You've got the electrics here, the controls here, it's fairly simple on a narrowboat, forward and backward with this control here. And of course, let's not forget the tiller for steering. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour. This is very much the boat as I've bought it. I've only moved a couple of my bits on and I haven't really taken off some of the stuff that the previous owners left on. So there's a lot of fettling to do, a bit of cleaning, all that kind of stuff, and also Hopefully on the next vlog, or perhaps the one after that, or the next couple, um, I'll be able to show you some of the work that's been done, so that includes the maintenance, the upgrades, the solar panels, stuff on the stove, and so on and so forth. So lots more to come. I do hope you'll enjoy it. If you like this video, give it a click on the old thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, click the subscribe button, and then anytime I post up a new video, YouTube should let you know. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.